Uh, so I've been convicted of jewelry from reading your guys' article, and then I did further research on it and studied. I don't wear jewelry anymore. However, did Mary Jesus' Jesus's mother wear jewelry? And maybe that's the first question we could start. Oh, well, the next question I see goes hand in hand with that. It says, uh, I asked because another Christian was explaining that Mary was a tribal traditional woman and makeup and jewelry were part of her culture. So, okay, so that's the first question. That's the first question. All right. Well, I'm, I appreciate this question, Robert, and uh, I appreciate you looking at our website and um, studying further on different topics. And, you know, jewelry is one of those things where it's very, it's a very personal thing. Um, you know, there's definitely instances in the Bible where we see God's people coming back to the Lord by taking off their jewelry. Um, that's definitely something you know, jewelry is, is an adornment. And so um, it, it's something that it, is not necessary. But, you know, is it, are you going to be lost if you keep a piece of jewelry? I wouldn't say that either, because I, I would say, you know, again, this is a very personal decision. But as far as the question of Mary, Jesus's mother wearing jewelry, I really don't see that anywhere in the Bible. And I, I just have a hard time, you know, um, believing that in a way, because Mary, you know, she was, when they say tribal, I mean, that she was one of the tribes of Judah. She, um, you know, she was of the tribe of Judah, basically, you know, her lineage went back, you know, of the, of the line of David, basically on both sides, both Joseph, Jesus' stepfather, as well as Mary, both were of the tribe of Judah. Now that, does that tribal, does that mean like, you know, like we think of a Native American tribe. No, this, this was um, in the Middle East and in, in the time of Israel. Uh, this is the time of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. People were very conservative. I can't imagine saying that Mary wore any makeup. I really don't see that. That was more of a heathen thing, like we see in the life of Jezebel, how she painted her face. That was more of a heathen, heathen thing that was, would not have really existed in a tribe of Israel. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it definitely isn't something that would be in necessarily seen. And the same thing with jewelry. Jewelry is, one of, again, one of those things where, um, you know, it, it is Per, it is personal, but again, in the Bible, you see um, God calling people to take off their jewelry when they're being serious, when they're you know fasting and praying, they're coming back to the Lord. We do see more of that in um, in the Bible. And based on everything I read of Mary, she was a very humble woman. Um, you know, when the the angel Gabriel came to her and said, you know, basically you're going to be the mother of the Son of God. You're going to you know bear him and um, and, you know, you're very, you're, you know, uh, blessed above women. And she said, you know, whatever you said, I will do. She was very humble and obedient. I can't imagine her, you know, <laughs> you know, vaunting herself around, you know, with, with a bunch of jewelry and makeup. Um, I, that, that's not really what I, I see, de uh, you know, depicted in the Bible. And there's no mention in the Bible of her wearing jewelry as far as I know of in, in any instance, so nor makeup. So I really would say, you know, I think this is just somebody's assumption. A lot of times people do say things like this because they want, you know, a reason to keep something. And really and truly, we have to just go by what you're convicted of. And, you know, the work of the Holy Spirit is for you to, you know, be convicted of, of righteousness, of judgment, um, and, uh, and of justice. And so, you know, if you feel like, you know, this is something you want to put away, you know, something, if, if it causes pride, uh, which it can for many people, you know, I would say surrender it. Um, if you're not sure, bring it to the Lord and say, God, you know, is this something I should keep or not in my life? And um, if the Lord convicts you in one way, follow in it. Otherwise, you know, you're basically fighting against your conscience, which, which in essence is the Holy Spirit. And you definitely don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, as far as Mary <laughs> jewelry, I don't see that anywhere in the Bible. So I hope that answers your question. Jay, do you have any other thoughts on that? Yeah, that was a good answer. And yeah, consistent with what you're, what you're saying, but approach from a slightly different angle is that, yeah, jewelry is neither good nor bad. Yeah. And if you read book of Genesis, God or adorned the land with gold, with jewels and and precious things like God created beauty. He likes beauty. He wants that to be a thing. And he, and he created the desire in us to, to, 
to sort of be adorned and, and all that. So that's that is something of God. The accumulation of to accumulate wealth and in, in, in beautiful things, God planted that desire in us. It is a good thing, but mm -hmm. out of context, it can be a bad thing. And what is the context in what we in which we live right now? We live in a world of scarcity. We're cut off from God. People, there's people who are struggling, people are starving, people who are having hard times. Mm -hmm. And right now, like if you read the book of James, James really fleshes this out. It, he's very clear that right now the time is when we're all being tested. We're all, our character is being tested. The rich are being tested to see if they will take the means that have been given to them and use that to help take care of the poor. And the poor being tested to see if they are going to be content in their heart with with little or nothing. Or mm -hmm. are they going to be jealous and they're going to try to seize things from the rich? Like we're our character is at a test right now. And again, time is short. The most important thing in this world right now, the only treasures that we store up in heaven right now are going to be the lives of people that we through through the Holy Spirit working through us can help save. Yeah, definitely. And then just using that word adornment, I can't help but think of that verse in first Peter chapter three, verse three, where it says, Who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of the plating of hair, wearing of gold, putting on of apparel, you know, fancy clothes. But in verse four it says, But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in which that which is a corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of, of great price. Mm -hmm. And when I think of Mary, I can't help but think she must have been, you know, somebody who was a meek and quiet spirit because God would have, you know, he knew he needed a woman trustworthy of raising the son of God to, you know, to fulfill his mission. And I can't imagine her being this brash, you know, flashy kind of person. She was a very humble woman mm -hmm. and um, she definitely feared God. And I, I just don't see her, her yeah, her, her doing that.